A rivalry between two billionaires is not something we get to see every day. But the persisting rivalry between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg is becoming more prominent. It's been on for quite some time now, and it just recently came up again. Although it seems that after Elon Musk purchased Mark Zuckerberg's most wanted social media platform, Twitter to be precise, this rivalry has taken a turn to a whole nother different level entirely. Once again, Musk has proved to be the better man, according to some people doing what Mark Zuckerberg has always dreamed of. So what now? Do you think Elon Musk was just showing off his wealth and bullying Mark? Do you think that Mark Zuckerberg now envies Elon Musk more than he did before? Or do you think that Musk's reasons for buying Twitter are justified? Well just stay tuned to this channel, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as we get into the video properly. If you've been following up on these two billionaires events, you can recall that there was a time that we all thought that Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg's interests would never align, as Musk was primarily into physical technology and Zuckerberg into digital technology. So why all the collaborations between the two of them? Why has Elon Musk taken a liking to social media and bought Twitter? As far as I know, it dates back to 2016 when they both had to interact on a major scale concerning the SpaceX project, which they were getting ready to launch on a large rocket carrying a $200 million satellite from internet.org, a company owned by Zuckerberg. Being the first collaboration between the two billionaires, Seeking also to launch the telecommunication satellite into space, it was heartbreaking to everyone as the rocket never took off. A fire hazard on the rocket prevented it from taking off to be specific. Both billionaires were in loss, but it seemed Elon Musk suffered a major setback for SpaceX, which had already lost a rocket in 2015 before this incident. I wouldn't say depressed, but Musk was pretty down and disappointed. But everything got worse as Zuckerberg became very furious and expressed his thoughts and emotions, saying that he was very disappointed in SpaceX, which cost him his satellite, leading to a somewhat feud between them, as Musk even stated that time that Facebook gives him the willies. Moving on to the present, the new owner of Twitter, Elon Musk, who struck a $44 billion deal to get the company, has just been made aware that he must protect Twitter's users from harmful content, just as Facebook did. There have also been some concerns by human rights groups that Musk plans to relax content restrictions, which is said to be one of the major reasons for the purchase of this social media platform. That could lead to an increase in cyberbullying and misinformation. Musk also received a warning from the European Commission that he is required to protect his users. Also, Thierry Breton, Commissioner for the Internal Market for the European Union executive, warned in a tweet saying, be it cars or social media, any company operating in Europe needs to comply with our rules, regardless of their shareholding. Mr. Musk knows this well. He's familiar with our automotive, and will quickly adapt to the Digital Services Act. Also, looking back to when the two billionaires issue started, when Musk was not yet the owner of Twitter, he stated in an interview that Mark Zuckerberg would continue to control the meta-universe for the foreseeable future, and made a joke about the power that Zuckerberg has over Facebook comparing him to the longest ruling monarch in France and the history of King Louis XIV. As some of you will know that Zuckerberg has completed veto power over their other shareholders. Musk expressed himself at the TED conference in Vancouver before he bought Twitter, that this much power Zuckerberg has over Facebook would not be so in his case, and also stated so in the case as Tesla's CEO. He also called out Zuckerberg that his main aim in acquiring Twitter was not for wealth creation, but to enhance the freedom of speech, which he feels Zuckerberg has limited. I'm not saying I have all the answers. Musk stated, but I do feel that we have to be very reluctant in the way we delete things, and also be very cautious with permanent bans. A timeout, he further stated, is better than permanent bans. This is what I want the Twitter algorithm to be like, open sourced and transparent, and hope that Twitter could be an inclusive arena for free speech. Also, as of lately, the European Union announced that its new online rules are going to restructure the digital market and voiced out that for them to be effective, there will need to be greater transparency among social media platforms explaining why certain content is recommended and also why certain ads are targeted to them too. This has also made users of these social media platforms wonder whether they use this medium to spy on us. According to Zuckerberg, he stated that Musk taking over Twitter 
would be a nightmare for many employees who had to work under the former CEO Tim Dorsey and the company regime. But Elon Musk replied to this statement by saying that people on Twitter are now more able to use their innovation and hard work. Not a surprise to some of us, this isn't the only time that Elon Musk has spoken out against Facebook. It occurs on quite a few occasions. Musk also pointed out that during one of these occasions that neither he nor Tesla has an account on Facebook, and as a result, with Musk being the new CEO of Twitter and all that, there's the possibility that Musk would create a Twitter account for every single company he owns. Looking further into this whole Facebook situation, there was a somewhat drama back in the time when WhatsApp co-founder Brian Acton tweeted saying, it is time, hashtag delete Facebook. And Elon Musk jokingly responded by asking him what Facebook was. It was also seen later on after that tweet that Elon Musk was not aware that SpaceX had a Facebook page at the time when he'd been asked by a fan whether he would delete the SpaceX Facebook page and he replied by saying, I didn't realize there was one, will do. Even when another fan pointed out that Tesla also had a Facebook page, he replied, looks lame anyway. Soon after, he was seen that both SpaceX and Tesla were no longer available, just showing us how Elon Musk finds Facebook very unsettling. But at least we know there's a reason for his unsettlement and actions. Musk always criticizes Facebook anywhere and anytime he had the chance, most especially during their data sharing practices. Musk even went as far as sharing memes on Twitter that Facebook is spying on its users and why it is always they require their users to sometimes provide their personal information if they're not doing so. Well, in my opinion, that could possibly be true as it seems too convenient with the stuff we are interested in, just always seeming to pop up. I guess that's for us to ponder on. Musk suggested in one of his tweets that people should use signals to interact. Quite funny, I must say. This tweet was also seen to be retweeted by Jack Dorsey, the current Twitter CEO at that time. Although it's quite uncertain if Elon Musk has what it takes to run a social media platform like Twitter, I think his reasons for acquiring the platform were for no other reason than to enhance free speech within the bounds of the law, of course, and nothing less. He is not quite interested in the fraud with Zuckerberg, although we know he doesn't like Facebook. But the new CEO of Twitter has just one goal with the platform which he stated is to eliminate spam and ensure perfectly lawful communication. Finally, we can see Elon Musk's intentions are pure looking back into before he acquired Twitter when he said that he would restructure the platform in a way that will avoid any perception of a conflict of interest such as making Twitter code available to the public. He also went on to tweet during that period stating, I wouldn't personally be in there editing tweets, but you will know is done to promote demo or otherwise affect a tweet. Well, he now owns Twitter. Let's see what he does and how he can handle things as he promised. Do you like Elon Musk, technology, SpaceX, Mark Zuckerberg, or even science as a whole? You can follow us for more interesting updates and content and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you later, geeks.